Hey, it's Abby, and today I am so excited to take you on a tour of our organized garage. It wasn't always organized, though. In fact, I'm embarrassed to say that at one point, it looked like this. But I'm thrilled to say that after working on it little by little over the past several months that we finally have the organized garage I had been hoping for. Before we jump into the tour, I wanted to mention that I put together a little garage organization planning guide that is full of tips and printables that will help you organize your own garage project. So you can grab that by clicking on the link in the description below. Let's jump right in, starting with the left wall of the garage. The first section in our garage is dedicated to our lawn and garden tools. Since Donnie mows, fertilizes, and uses the weed whacker just about every week when the weather is nice, it was important to have all of these tools in a spot that is easy to reach and within close access to the garage door so he can get everything outside. We decided to go with the IKEA Algot shelving system with metal shelves throughout the garage. We like that the shelving attached to the wall rather than sitting on the floor since our garage floor is a bit slanted. We also considered the Alpha system from the container store, but when we compared prices, we ended up saving thousands of dollars by going with Algot. We have used the Algot system in seven closets between the two houses we've lived in, and it has always held up well for us. So we were confident that it would be a great fit for our garage as well. For larger and more awkwardly shaped items that needed to hang, we used the Gladiator brand track system, which allows us to add various types of hooks to hold all sizes and shapes of items. This made it easy to store things like weed whackers, shovels, rakes, and sprayers. Donnie had requested a work surface for the space for when he's working on projects in the garage, so we put in a standard Algot shelf in this segment of the wall with a stool that stores neatly underneath. We also included an IKEA Scottish pig board where we can clip up notes for projects we're working on and hold pens and other small supplies. This section of shelving also holds many of the boys' outdoor toys along with some of our beach and camping supplies. These are just simple aqua bins from Target, but I love that they added a fun pop of color. I labeled the bins with my silhouette machine and adhesive vinyl. You can see my video about making labels with a silhouette for more details. We were sure to keep the boys' items down low so that they could reach them easily when they go out to play. The items we used less often are up higher. Bikes were one of the things that we knew would be trickier to store since they are awkwardly shaped and take up a lot of room. We needed them to be out of the way, but also easy enough to get to that it wouldn't be a pain when we wanted to use them. We decided to go with the Gladiator track again, and they had the perfect attachment that allows us to get the bikes up and down easily. We are a hockey family, so one of my top priorities for our garage organization project was to figure out a way to store all of the smelly hockey gear that had infiltrated my house. First, we use wall hooks to hang up the net that we use in the driveway, along with the yellow shield that acts as the standing goalie. We made sure the net was up high enough that the hood of the car would fit under it, but low enough that it was easy to grab. Two more sets of wall hooks hold all of the hockey sticks below the net. The next part is my favorite because it holds all of the hockey bags which used to inevitably end up in my dining room or our guest room. These are still the IKEA Algot shelves with our boys' bags on the lowest shelves so they can get them up and down themselves. Above Caleb's bag, we installed some hooks where we can hang sweaty gear to air out. If you have ever smelled sweaty hockey gear, you understand why this was necessary. IKEA makes these nifty little baskets that hook right onto the Algot rail, so I was able to store a stash of hockey pucks there so the boys can grab them easily. Donnie uses his hockey gear less often, so it's fine up high. It's easy for him to grab the ladder to get the bag down when he needs it. We also have a few bins of spare hockey gear that we're waiting for the boys to grow into. Donnie had been storing his fishing gear in his office and in our master closet, so we wanted to make sure to give it a better home out here in the garage. For some reason, he didn't like the idea of storing his fishing gear in cute aqua tubs. I have no idea why. So we got these gray ones for him and they are working out well. The rest of the top row of shelves not taken up by his hockey bag holds the remainder of his fishing gear and a couple of coolers. The final section of the shelving on this wall has several shelves for all the shoes, skates, and roller blades. We keep our day-to-day -day shoes inside, but our muddy shoes and boots are stored in the garage, along with rollerblades for everyone in the family and my ice skates since I don't keep them in a hockey bag. Finally, we have one light-duty ladder that we use all the time, so we hung it on a hook on this wall, which is near the entrance to the house, so we can easily grab it and use it when we need it. Let's check out the final wall of the garage. 
We put a small section of shelves above the utility tub to hold some cleaning supplies and my favorite Y-Weave bins. I was way too excited when I discovered that the two bins on lowest shelves were the perfect size to store a roll of garbage bags. The bags stay neatly tucked away, but are still convenient to grab one when I need it, and then the next one sits there, ready and waiting for me. I love a pretty detail, so I painted the door going into our mudroom my favorite shade of aqua, Sherwin-Williams Rainwashed, and also painted the steps white with gray treads. For the size of our house, the closets are pretty small, so I struggled to find a great place to store our mops and brooms. We ended up using the Scottish pegboard with hooks on this small piece of wall, and it has been the perfect solution. There is also a dispenser for holding plastic grocery bags so that we can reuse them. This wall was a bit tricky because it has a bump out that not only limited what we could put on either side of it, but also constrained what we could store on it. Since we wanted to be able to park both of our cars in here, whatever we put on the bump out couldn't stick out very far, or it would be tough to get our doors open to the cars. Ultimately, this ended up being the perfect spot to store our heavier duty ladders, again using the Gladiator Track system. The three ladders fit perfectly horizontally and they aren't very deep, so bumping the car doors is not a problem. The final little corner of the garage holds our garbage can and recycling bin and also provides a spot for another tricky item to store, the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow is heavy and huge, and though we don't use it very often, it's something we needed to keep around to use occasionally. We were totally baffled as the best way to store it until we found this simple wall bracket. The lip of the wheelbarrow simply sits down into the bracket and the handles help to lock it in place so it's sturdy, keeping it accessible but still out of the way. Finally, we use one more wall hook to hold the bike rack attachment that hooks to the hitch on the back of our car. And then we were done. It took months of working on it off and on, but I'm absolutely thrilled with our finished garage space. Let's take a look at the before and after. And of course, I couldn't end this video without a shot of both cars parked comfortably in the garage because I am so excited that we're going to be parking in here instead of out in the cold Pennsylvania tundra this winter. Thank you so much for taking the tour of our organized garage, and if you're planning on working on a garage project anytime soon, be sure to grab our garage organization planning guide in the description below.